Okay. Well, this is a new low for uh, for uh, preparation of recording. Beforehand, is I can't deal with the hot weather. Now I'm getting bug bites everywhere. Joy. Anyways, back to the game. We're going to the dining hall and seeing what the hell's gonna happen. Oh shit! Wait. Hold on. Before we do that, I need to do a real quick panic test. And everything should be fine, right? Everything's fine. Okay. We've been recording for one hour. That's pretty uh, light, I gotta say. <laughs> Alright. Uh, to the dining hall, which is this area, correct? Okay. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You f f really think that 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 tired excuse is like is it gonna get gonna, gonna work up? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I I just thought that the day is past and it may be reset. So 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 please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang as a sign of to break my neck from this but bad girl. I'll clean your bath bathroom with my toothbrush. If you maybe stop disgust makes disgusting palms like that, maybe I can forgive you. Uh, thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can s s stop my mouth full of trash. Uh, as long as this is oh, okay. Fuck off. Uh, it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um, anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her on this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just to keep quiet. Strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... No? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ha! Are you looking for Miss Kiri Gailey? What? what do you want now? Oh, right, right. You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Hmm. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is, and they name some indie bullcrap? This <laughs> The way you change subjects like th th that. <laughs> I, I I honestly apologize for any um earphone users. Yeah. Yeah, thank goodness it looks like Monokuma. I'm just trying to make Toku as annoying as possible. So if it's bleeding your ears, it's working. <laughs> so I guess our plans went off just fine last night, which could mean. Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey, hey! So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Gary Gary. Any ideas where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. For serious. Hmm. I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we all should go look for her? And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can we not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school, but wherever even Monokuma couldn't even notice, where could it be? We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. So now it's free time, I'm guessing. And Kyoko is nowhere to be seen, right? Phew, breakfast couldn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Okay, well, before we do anything, we're gonna have to grind up some <laughs> presents. Because what are the presents we currently have right now? 
I say we have a good amount, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so... Map! Hocus Pocus, where do we see? Show me the evidence that strikes for thee. Does it show, like, people at all? Where the fuck is everyone? Fifth floor? Oh, fifth floor, okay. So she's at the dojo. You're at the hallway. You two are at the garden. Well, I know where to go if I can't find, uh, Kyoko. And I guess I'm gonna go for Waifu Aoi. <laughs> Uh, oh, there she is. Hopefully I have some item that she'll appreciate. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure! Wow. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiri. Mm -hmm. But every person's endurance has a limit. Sure, why not? Yeah. Yes, I think we need a change of pace. And when I think of change of pace, I can only think 50 laps in the pool! <laughs> okay, okay. I changed my pace with Hina in this pool. I grew closer today. Yes, definitely. Why wouldn't I want to give her presents? Okay, mineral water. She likes water. She likes exercising. Makoto, it's like you read my mind. I'm assuming she likes it. Ah, so hungry. Please. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. Unzips pants. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. I need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? I can't! That's my secret weapon! For emergencies only! If I keep gorging on something like that many calories, I'll get fat in no time! So even she so even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen? How is that a snack? Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. You got it. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories at on all, so... I'm a porktastic tonkotsu girl, through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. The, ele the key element of any tonkotsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So, you're okay with all that oil? Ah, uh, talking about it just makes me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it. To the dining hall! Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen was way more calories than a donut. This? Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't ya? What are you afraid of? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you! Uh, are you still Hina? Just a Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like! Please tell me you don't have a penis down there. <laughs> or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't! If I don't do this now, and when am I ever gonna get another chance? Crying out starvation of Rob is like a starving raven, Hina ran off at the dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Yeah! What did I get? Extraordinary focus! Give yourself a power back, you earned it. Alright, good. I learned my lesson and made my way back to my room. Of course, there's still some time to scoundrel around the area, so... Yeah, I feel more worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and... Now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> free time, but it doesn't feel like free time if I'm not sounding so good. Alright. We haven't hanging out with Katsuhiro in a while. But Byakuya could also be a smart pick as well. And I'm just gonna take a fat assumption that Kyoko is nowhere to be seen, right? Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Maybe we can talk to Byakuya, even though this might piss me off. <laughs> Who knows? Then again, that's a hero. I don't fucking know what to pick, honestly. Okay. Wanna talk, dude? Screwing around again, huh? Looking at you makes me physically ill. <laughs> well, sure, why the fuck not? He already hates it. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my intention. I hope you appreciate this. 
BRK. BRK and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> what the fuck would he like, though? Mineral water... You probably like fancy stuff, right? What does it say? Uh, herbal tea that says to promote beauty and wellness. You can somehow sense its elegant. I feel like that's more uh, Celeste's drink than anything. Sea salt, potato chips, a black croissant. Oh. Rations? Way like survivability? A flotation donut. I, I know that who to pick for that. The status ring! Uh, word, on your right hand, you're looking for love. On your left hand, you found it. Or both. Well, that's asking for a catastrophe. Max glove? Whoa, is this Little Mac? A pair of boxing gloves infused with a straight, stra staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. Okay. What the fuck will he like, though? Bunny ear earmuffs? No. That's so stupid. Huh. Maybe, uh, this? A red... A dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for the most elegant client hand. Uh. Oh, fucking no. Let me prize problems. These seven important medical medical problems were the. Mm. Fuck it. Here we go. You want that? This is you. You bastard! How'd you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire Togami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. I I'm going to hold on to this. Oh, so he really likes this? I'm guessing. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. So, in so that's good. Words. Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progens uh, progeny is only one for many my many talents. Some people think I rely on care and protection of the Takami name. Huh. Is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us for, uh, to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally, after all even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Tokami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. <laughs> and that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. <laughs> How the heck did you make that much money? In other words. The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends and all with a single day. Yes. Surely, even some as simple-minded as you have heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market doing everything in a single day. I think it's called trading cards. It's not trademarking. It's not trademarks or trading cards, it's day trading. You're talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. That's really not a big deal. I'd say it was a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm no merely the. I'm not the. I'm not. Uh, I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Biakia. Maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it real quickly. Jeez, you do. You realize how insulting that sounds to make the rest of us. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man. He really is confident. We're like worlds apart, galaxies apart. But uh, at least we're uh, update on his report card, so that's good. Maximum skill point has been increased. Whoop de doo! So I could equip things even more. Still reeling from Biakia's story, I went back to my room. Guessing it's night time, so 
Won't be able to hang out anymore or some sort of cutscenes. Ooh, scoopy music. <sighs> I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime was it for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I hope my voice is actually legible enough to hear that. I was unconscious before my head to the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say... Cold breath? I was restless. <laughs> At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. What is this strange dream? We'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned and figure it out. Or, unless you already played the game before and just see my reaction. In this case, you'll see in the next part.